It's the breakthrough that Shea Suwei was looking for. She's been excellent when she's had break point. Oh, she's done it. Shea Suwei. Four, six, seven, moves into six, round six, four seven. at the Miami Open. Well, okay then. What's up, Tweener Heads? Welcome back to another video. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is where we talk about tennis in a more casual way for you guys to understand what's going on on tour, as well as bringing the best on and off the court content for you guys. So if you are new, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos that we're making here on the channel. So. Let's just get straight into it. Su Wei Shea, a Taiwanese player, just upset Naomi Osaka at the Miami Open. Now, if you don't know who Su Wei Shea is, that's okay, I'll explain it to you. She's 33 years old, has won $6 million in career prize money, has been number one in the world for doubles, has won two Grand Slams in doubles as well, Wimbledon and the French Open. Her highest ranking in singles has been 23. She's currently ranked 27th in singles right now at the age of 33 and she's ranked in the top 30 in doubles as well i mean a double whammy if you might add i i'm bringing i'm making this video for one of two reasons one because she's having one of the best years of her career because she's made it to the semi-finals of dubai she's made the semi-finals of auckland and she's beaten the likes of daniel collins naomi osaka nicolescu alexandra sasnovitz svetasova angelique kerber and carolina pliskova i mean if you if you don't know why she's doing so well and you watch her game for example and you're wondering why how is she doing this woman is redefining how good you have to be on tour you don't have to hit the hardest shots you don't have to have you don't have to be the fastest person on the court you can just have a variety of shots that work to your advantage i mean sway shea has two backhands for goodness sakes two backhands as ugly as i think that is it's still one of the most effective things you can do on tour because you never really know how they're gonna play what shot they're gonna hit and it's so unconventional from a tennis player's perspective because for me at least that it frustrates me to play someone like that. I've mentioned this in a previous video where I've played someone of this of this style and for me at least, I don't understand how you play against this someone. I feel like this would just annoy the crap out of you because for me, it just doesn't make sense. She's had a tough road getting to this level. I mean, this is probably one of the best career, uh, best years on tour of her career, especially in singles. She's even admitted in press conferences that she didn't even want to play singles. When she hired her new coach, Paul McNamee in 2011, he, she initially wanted to bring him on to play doubles and to focus primarily on getting trophies in doubles and mixed doubles when she was playing. But he, Paul actually pushed her to play singles and I think he made the right choice. I mean, she's won three titles in her career and I think she's definitely a name to reckon with because it's definitely someone you have to worry about when you're playing in a draw. Especially a higher tournament, she's able to play people and break them down from a technical standpoint because she can hit a basic backhand and then just go a two-hand forward and just go and it's just like a it's like a slice it's like i don't i don't even it's like she's just chopping at the ball like a sword and the ball's just going in three different directions because i have no idea how it's gonna work to be honest <laughs> at 33 years old as well she's been on tour since 2001 in two years she'll be on tour for 20 years can you imagine that being on tour for 20 years how crazy is that? Is my math right? Can you imagine being on tour for 20 years and being successful? I mean, she's been consistently in the top 100 for such a long time, and to do it with doubles as well, that makes no sense to me. That's, like, being able to balance a career and to be balanced singles and doubles, she's been able to play straight from singles. After after she beat Osaka, she was on the doubles court and won her doubles match with uh, Barbara Strykova. I mean, that 
that's so hard to do and she's been able to get funding and she's been able to win and earn money so that way she can get a physical physio and add more people on her team which by the way her traveling coach is also her boyfriend fun fact which is very interesting because when she added Paul to her team she didn't even have another physio she didn't even have another coach so when she got injured it was very hard for her to get back onto tour especially when she's getting older and on tour and being 33 it's very hard to physically travel and be at this level all the time but her ability to just power through all this and be a part in the tennis world and still win it's it's very successful she's being very successful and she's <laughs> she's doing very well for herself and i'm very surprised by it i don't know if you guys are surprised by it but for me at least this is another story that people should be focusing on i from my reaction what i've seen on twitter and what i've seen on social media she's very well regarded she's very shy but she's also very humble she doesn't when she went to go give a speech earlier this year she actually didn't want to give it and she wanted strikova or her partner to give it instead because she was very shy and she's very humble like i said and i think a lot of people like that like to see that in her and like to see that personality because she's down to earth and not and i feel like on tour you don't get to see that that often so when you see someone come from a long career like her it's very nice to see someone just be able to talk about everything and be open about what's going on on tour as well from a doubles aspect as well while she's in the top 30 right now she's her highest ranking in doubles has been number one she's won 21 titles on tour as a doubles player she's won like i said before three titles in singles I, how does she win it, it's crazy it's crazy to me uh, how she's still on tour playing at this level and i absolutely am fascinated by it i i don't think i have another word for it at the end i just wish her the best of luck at the miami open uh if you guys want to see more of it leave a comment down below of who else you want me to talk about especially with unique strokes like her so if you like this video make sure to leave a big thumbs up on this video make sure, let's try to get this video to 10 likes and if you are new to the channel like i said please subscribe i love you guys to join the twitter at tennis family if you haven't checked out our behind the scenes like social media check us out on facebook twitter instagram as well as our website at tweenerheadtennis.com so thank you guys so much for watching today i hope to see you guys very soon take care guys thanks